My fish guys and girls, what is going on? Fish Guy Jack here. You guys already know what we're doing. We're back with another video. We're at a new spot today that houses so much stuff. We've caught octopuses here. We've caught eels. We've caught crabs. We've caught so much stuff and everything is housed inside all of these rocks. We've seen so much stuff when I tell you this and you guys are loving the fish trap video. The last fish trap video I caught, we caught an eel, has over 50,000 views in less than a week. So I thought to myself, I might as well bring you guys the heat again and film another fish trap video, but at a new location. So check it out, we have all these rocks, some submerged, some that are out of the water, and then we have the big bridge over here. This place is loaded, we brought two traps today, we even have a new bait to use today, trust me, we're gonna catch something epic. Now let's go check out our traps. We brought along two traps today. We got the homemade trap that we caught our eel in in our last fish trap video, but we have a new trap that we've never used before ever on the channel. And here it is. This is a trap that we got from Walmart. And this thing, the reviews on it are crazy. So we're gonna see what it can catch today. I thought, you know what? The fish, the fish trap videos have been crushing it. And you know what? We gotta keep pumping these out, these videos, so you guys can keep enjoying them. All right, so let's take a look at our new trap. This one is very similar to the other one that we've used in the past to catch a bunch of minnows. But this one is Definitely a way better made fish trap. Look at this thing. It's an umbrella. It's the umbrella trap, y'all. Check out that thing right there. We're gonna load this thing up with a bunch of bait that I'm gonna show you guys right now. As you all know, we've been using a bunch of shrimp lately, but we're gonna switch it up today and we're gonna go with the finger mullet. These things absolutely reek, okay? At this spot, we've caught green moray eels, we've caught chain link eels, and so much more stuff. And everything here ate a mullet right here i'm gonna cut these things in half and throw them inside the trap because these things absolutely reek so here's one cut up check it out it's got everything inside there the guts everything the organs these things i kid you not guys you can smell these from a mile away i left one of these in the bed of my truck by accident one time oh my god the whole neighborhood hated me it smelled horrific i just cut this one in half take a look at this you guys know what that is right there on the end of that knife that is a bunch of mullet eggs i guess this one Obviously it is a female and it was full, slap full of mullet eggs. But you know what? You know what loves mullet eggs? You know what loves eggs is other fish. <sighs> Caviar. All right, we got all our mullet cut up. We got a couple whole. We left one or two of them whole. One there and one here. So this is what they look like. Let me rinse this guy off. So check it out. This is what they look like right here. Nice finger mullet. There's so many of these guys around and we got them all cut up right here. We got our two fish traps. Take your bets down below. Which one's gonna win, the Walmart? or the homemade trap. Take a handful of these right here, throw it in there, and let's take this whole guy, throw it in there as well. Then let's take a handful of these bad boys and stuff it inside there. We might catch a crab in this trap, you never know. We got all these little entry points right here, one here, one here, and it goes all the way around that entire, we're gonna call it the umbrella fish trap. Throw a whole one in here inside as well. And you know what, we're gonna take two right here, throw them in the water, chum. As you guys can see, we already called the flies. That's how much these things smell. All right, let's grab our first fish trap right here. Pick this thing up and we're gonna bring them along over here. We're gonna go ahead and set this one in some deeper water right along this bridge piling in the current. What's gonna be good is that all this scent that's in here is gonna go down the whole inlet because of the current. The current's gonna sweep it all out, take it all and call all the fish. So we're gonna put this one right here. Bury that down just like that and that puppy ain't going anywhere. Right there, that's where that one's gonna be, right by these two big pilings in some pretty deep water. You guys can see all of the mullet sitting inside there and we're in the big inlet right here. All this current is gonna sweep this scent all throughout the whole inlet. We'll be back and checking on you in a little bit. All right, we got one trap set. Now we gotta set the other. All right, y'all, let's set this second one here. We're gonna put the lid on just like that, snap it in place, bada bing. This lid is off. This one flew away. I don't know where the heck it went, but it's gonna be completely fine. Now we just gotta go find a good spot for this thing. Now what I'm thinking is since we got our first trap up along over there, I wanna put this one along these rocks over here in hopes maybe we can get some sort of crab or something. So let's throw this puppy right over here. All right, buddy, sink for me. Come on. This is the hardest part of the day. Sink, please. Sink, buddy, please. There we go. Now you guys can see all that water going in there. I'm just gonna sit on the thing. Forget it. I'm sitting on it. Yep. That's right, I'm sitting on it. That's right, we're floating. We're sitting on it and floating, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that thing filling. Okay, this one is completely sunk. We're gonna leave this one shallow because we put the other fish trap deep, so I'm gonna leave this one shallow right here and uh, in hopes we're gonna catch something, baby. 
We're out here having a good time. Y'all, check this out. As we were waiting to pull our fish trap, we found a jellyfish right here. Look at this guy. He's washed up on the beach since the tide is completely out. As you guys can see, the water's way over there. But this guy was left on the beach. Hopefully we don't get stung picking this thing up, but check that out. Oh my God, I, don't, I think we might get stung. We gotta throw him in the water. Look at that. That is super cool. He's still got his pink coloring to him. And look at that right there, jellyfish. Bye, bud. You know guys, typically as we wait for our fish traps to ferment, we like to go around, pick up five pieces of trash, be a fish guy and clean up the area. But this spot right now, as I was looking, I can't even find one piece of trash. Literally, this area is fairly clean. And that's a great thing to see. Our original honey hole, fish guy jack honey hole. I mean, that place is covered in trash, but we do our best and we do our part to help clean the ocean. And uh, actually we just found two pieces right here. Three pieces. Gatorade cap, one. Paintbrush, that's an interesting find. Two. And this thing, three. So we got three pieces of trash today. Don't know what on God's green earth this is right here, but I encourage you guys, if you're out there and you see trash, be a fish guy and clean it up. All right, you guys, it's starting to rain here. The traps have been fermenting for quite some time now. We're gonna go ahead, walk over here now and pull that one that's up shallow. So let's do it. All right, buddy, come with me. You are heavy as can be right now. Let's pull you out of the water. Pulling this guy out first, the shallow one. Let's pop the lid. Come on, baby. Ah, looks like we're empty, y'all. Doesn't look like we got anything in this one, unless there's a crab somewhere in here. Nope, you guys, the one shallow caught us absolutely nothing, so we're gonna dump this one out. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull our other one. That one we didn't catch anything in, which I was kind of surprised. I thought for sure we'd maybe catch a crab or two, because, you know, I've seen a lot of crabs around here, but let's hope the deep one has something nice. As I was walking over there to pull that deep trap, you know the, all the mold that I dumped in here? Check this out. This is exactly what we were after to catch right here. Look at this. He just dove, he just buried himself down. No, he's running. Did I get him? Come on, I think I got him, guys. I think I got him, I think I got him. You guys, check this out. Look at this crab I just caught. Oh my God, he's running, he's running. Come here, hey, 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 calm down. Calm yourself, bud. Look at that guy that we just caught. This is exactly what we were after to catch inside this trap right here. And as we dump all the mullet, we caught what we were after. I was hoping to catch one a lot bigger than this guy and a lot more of them, but that's exactly what we were after. I knew they were in this area. We're gonna release this guy now and now we're gonna go pull our trap, but cool little find on our way to pull our other trap. Bye, buddy. You care if you're on my video? No, okay. All right, so this gentleman right here is out here diving along the bridge. He just caught a French angel inside of his net right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Where is he? Oh yeah, you guys can see him. He's just a tiny little French angel. Look at how beautiful that fish is. That's crazy. And you were saying up along that wall over there, you saw lion how many lionfish? Fish. I saw 10. 10 lionfish and a bunch is, of snook. The ones that are eating all these little guys. Yeah, so we gotta do our best to remove those puppies, but. Probably 100 snook. 100 snook over there? Uh, clean angels, beautiful, you know, aquarium fish. Right, lion right, fish. right. That is nuts, lionfish. All right, if you guys want me to go and do a dive with a GoPro, smash like on this video, 1500 likes. We're coming back over here and we're gonna go do a dive. That would be awesome. That is crazy. He caught a French angel fish. That fish is like literally $100 at the store. That is nuts. All right, now let's pull the trap. All right, we're pulling this puppy. Oh, come here, boy, come here. You guys check, oh my God, we have so much stuff in here. Fish, crabs, like you go crib. <gasps> lionfish, lionfish, lionfish. Holy crap, you guys, we gotta untie this knot at the bottom because we have so much stuff in here, it is ridiculous. Oh my God, the size of these crabs is ridiculous. Get this undone, please. Hurry up, Jack, Just hurry up. Okay, we're gonna shake this out, come on. Oh my God, look at this lionfish. You guys, take a look at this lionfish right here. Are you doing all right, buddy? We gotta get you in my bucket, oh my God, look at this. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Is he good? He's good. Oh my God. But guys, look at the size of these crabs in here. Look at that thing. This is what we were after all day. Come on, get out. Get out. Look at that crab. Look at the size of that crab. All along, I thought our shallow trap was gonna be catching these, but these things were just snacking on the mullet all freaking day, the whole time we were out there. The whole time the trap was out there, these guys we're snacking. We have another one in here too. Look at this one. This one's a blue crab right there. You guys see that guy? Check out that blue crab. Look at that dude. That is such a cool catch right there. And we got this one too. Ah, I don't want to get bit. Ah, ah. How are we going to get these guys back in the water? You guys got a boogie. There we go. I got him. Come on, buddy. Go back in the water. There you go. There he is. Released and happy. Come here, buddy. Go back with your friend. Come with me. 
I'm gonna put you right next to him. Get out. There you go. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. Running off. See you, bud. You guys, I think that goes down as the best fish trap on Fish Guy Jack's channel in the history of time. I was super worried after we caught nothing in the first one, then I pulled the second one and we're loaded lionfish, big crabs, sand perch. Let's take another look at this lionfish. Look at that catch, you guys. That is crazy right there, y'all. Lionfish and it's a perfect size for the aquarium. Well, you guys, how crazy is that? As he was saying that he saw a bunch of lionfish up along that wall, we had one in our trap all along. That is crazy. He said there's so many over there. So if you guys want me to go over there and dive, all that stuff he says he sees lobsters, everything, lionfish, French angelfish, like crazy. So if you guys want me to do that, 1500 likes on this video and we're doing it. But let's take a look inside of this bucket. Look at that French angel that he caught right there, you guys. That is such a freaking beautiful fish. And he's got a couple puffers in there. Look at that, you guys. He's got a whole variety of stuff in there, but that French angel is beautiful. All right, we're gonna pack up now. We're gonna head home and we're gonna get that lionfish in the aquarium. Let's boogie. We're at the tank now. Here's Spike. There's Pennywise, the clown trigger. There's Turbo, our other puffer. And there is Zeus our grouper hiding underneath the rocks. And here is our newest member to the tank, our lionfish right there. But we're gonna get him in the tank now and see how he looks. Okay, we gotta remove this lid so we can get this guy in with ease because you know what? We do not want to get stuck by this guy because he is either poisonous or venomous. Let me know down below. Is he poisonous or venomous? Because I know he's one of the two. Come here, buddy. You're gonna go in my tank now, bud. Yeah. Come on, get in here. Look at that fish, you guys. Got his spikes all up. Let's get him into the tank. There he goes. Oh my God. We just literally caught that fish in a trap and he's such good size. Are you kidding me? Look at that fish, you guys. So you see all those spikes along his dorsal fins and on his side fins, these ones right up there. If that thing sticks you, you are in some serious, serious pain. Check out how good that fish looks in there. This tank, wow, this is un. Unbelievable. I mean, he looks so good in there. There's everybody checking him out. I would not mess with that guy, you guys, but look at that fish. What an addition to the tank. It looks unbelievable. All we need is just a little bit more rock in here, and I think this tank is complete. Let me know what you guys think we should name him down below, and if you did enjoy this fish trap video, smash the like on this video. I'm gonna do a YouTube shout out right now and a Discord shout out. So from YouTube, shout out to Jackson Barker, and from the Discord, shout out to Tarzan. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like, leave a comment down below what you guys think we should name him, and I love you guys so much. The support is unreal. I'll be catching you guys in that next one. Peace out.